Okay, so what are these Eagle board design rules? Well, if you remember going back to the schematic, we had the ERC, electronic rule check. And it's not really checking the circuit per se, but it's checking to make sure there aren't any um, overlapping leads, misconnections, inputs that are connected to, um, or outputs that are connected to inputs improperly, those kinds of things. If we go back to the board, there's also this thing called the DRC, design rule check. And I'm gonna walk through this uh, fairly quickly, but just to give you an idea, um, when a board is being manufactured, we have to make sure that there are not overlapping traces or traces that are too close to the edge of the board or these kind of problems. And so as an example here, um, one of the most important things is the clearance. Now, all of these happen to be in millimeters, but it gives you an idea of what the difference is that we're looking at. So when a board is being manufactured, typically we're looking at uh, trace distances of five mils and uh, the width of a mil being five mils. So if we take a look, the, the clearance that we have to make sure that we meet in order to have it manufactured, for example, we have wire to wire, we have wire to pad, we have pad to pad, via, which is a connection between the top and the bottom traces, and uh, a trace, via to pad, and via to via. And if we violate this, if for example, we had overlaps, or if we had a, a trace too close to a pad, the board would either not be able to be manufactured or be manufactured improperly. And so we want to make sure, obviously, that when we put all the parts in and solder them, that the board works as expected. So these are just some examples of some of the things that you're looking for in the design rule checks. So when we actually go to the board and apply that, if we go to DRC and apply, um, or check rather, it will say whether or not there are any errors. In the bottom left, you can see it says no errors found. But let us let me give you an example where there might be a problem. Let's say you had routed a board and then accidentally moved a part like this. Hopefully you won't do that, but if you did, we would overlap some traces. And then if we run our DRC again and check it, it says, whoops, we've got some errors here. There's a clearance problem between those points. We zoomed in there, you could see where the traces are overlapping the pads. There's overlap here. So the, the whole point of the DRC is that it's going to try to go run through what is called the design rule check and make sure that your board is manufacturable. Now typically the board houses, the places that manufacture the boards, will check these also. The last thing they want to do is waste their time and your time making a board that's not going to work. So they check some of these things too. But I want to go over that because that's a very important part of the quality control checks that we use before we have our boards manufactured.